Fozan from Indonesia says, if there is an impurity of a cat, and if I heard him correctly, he mentioned two cases. One, when the cat pukes, when the cat throws up, and the throwing up or the puke of the cat is not impure. It is disgusting, it's filthy, it's dirty, but it's not nudges that would impact your prayer. What would impact your prayer is the feces and the urine of the cat. So this is number one. Number two, when there is a uh, traces of feces or urine that you can visibly see, then this is impure. So let's assume that the cat stepped on its own feces and took five, six steps. And you can see that there are traces of feces due to the prints of its feet then these prints are all nudges. Once they disappear, once the cat walks, and definitely this is not coronavirus that would stick for everywhere and, and, and spread like they claim. This is feces. Eventually, after five, six steps, it will worn, be worn off and there won't be any traces of it on the carpet or on the floor. When you don't see traces, this is pure. The traces you see visibly, this is impure. You have to wash and clean. And you don't have to become OCD-ish in the sense that everything in the house is impure. Now I don't know where to pray. I can't touch anything. Everything uh, uh, I touch becomes also nudges. No, this is not the case.